Here we're looking at a question off the practice final, chapter six, uh, number two. Uh, I think it was labeled as number two, not number one, but this one, uh, we have a product with a normally distributed lifespan. So the mean is 5.3 years. So we're gonna go mu or u equals 5.3, uh, standard deviation 1.7. So we'll use these values here in our calculations. So here, part A, probability a randomly selected item will last longer than seven years. So before we even start this, uh, let's just think about the mean is 5.3. So we're looking for an item to last longer than the mean. So it should be less than 50% or 0.5. It's pretty significantly longer than the mean. Uh, it's not quite a full standard deviation away, so it should be quite a bit less than 0.5. So here we're gonna line up the probability. So probability that X is longer than, so it's greater than seven years. I'm gonna put seven right here, uh, so I can just use the value in the cell. Uh, otherwise, I would have just written it like this. But if you write it like this, you can't actually use that seven right there. Um, and so therefore, uh, put the seven here and then close the parentheses there. All right, from the formula page, there's two Excel formulas here. Uh, the norm, dis, norm dist, uh, I think I might have switched around those two there, but we'll see in a second what they need to be. So norm dist is where you're given a X value and you want to compute the probability that it is uh, greater than or less than uh, the uh, mean and the standard deviation. The inverse is where you're given a probability and you want to compute uh, you want to compute from that. So the last two parts here we're going to use the norm inverse and the other three uh, parts we're using the regular norm dist. So let's start by typing in equals norm, norm dist. So I'm hitting tab. Uh, it looks like I messed up the order here. So it goes X first, mean sec, uh, second. So I put uh, the X value I want right here. And again, I'm using the B5 to use that value in the cell. All right, the mean is right here, 5.3 comma standard deviation is this s and we're always going with uh, cumulative true here and close parentheses all right now i just said this should be less than half or less than 0.5 so what the world is going on uh, let me copy and paste this so you can oops see what i typed all right so what's going on this tells us, uh, the regular norm disk tells us the proportion of values that are lower than this uh, value right here, not the proportion that's greater than. So we want the opposite probability. So anytime that it's greater than, you want to use one minus norm disk. Just stop and use your common sense and think, well, if the item is uh, gonna last longer than the average, the probability should be less than half. If it was shorter than the average, the probability is more than half. So that's how I use my intuition to correct this. So we actually use one minus right here, norm dist. Okay, I wanna reuse this down below. What's gonna change is the X value is gonna change, but what is not gonna change is the standard deviation and the mean. So I wanna lock these in and I'm putting dollar signs in front of both uh, the letter, which is the column, and the number, which is the row. So it's gonna lock in the red and the purple here. Uh, so it's not gonna change those. All right, so there's our first computation. Now what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this here. And you're gonna see because I locked in these two, the mean and the standard deviation, those are still in use right up here. Uh, I better cancel that. And you cancel with escape. If you start messing around and you're clicking on something, um, I don't want to put that in here. If you press enter, it'll accept it and mess it up. Uh, you press escape. If you'd make a mistake, you press escape and it will cancel it. All right, 
Now, I didn't read this yet. Probability selected item will break in the first 4.5 years. So this is probability X is less than because we want it to not last longer than 4.5. So I'm doing 4.5 here. Now before we worry, should this be a regular or a one minus norm dist? Let's just think about the average, the mean is 5.3. My item is gonna be less, last less long than the mean. Uh, and so it should be less than 0.5. This number is greater than 0.5, so we actually do, do not want to use the opposite, the one minus. So we're using regular norm dist here. And I'll copy and paste that. So again, you see the red and the purple, they didn't move from up there. And just paste in the computation. Okay. So next up, what is that doing? Next up, uh, probability randomly, randomly selected item will last between five and six. So I can either do greater than or less than for this. Uh, I'm going to go with the less than only because it doesn't need the extra one minus, uh, but then I'll show you how to do it with using that. So I'm actually going to paste this in twice. So again, I got the exact same thing in here twice. And now I want to go between five and six. So first value is five, second value is six. You see these get updated right away. And what we have to do here, they're both less than. They're both less than, so one's less than five, one's less than six. And so what we need to do is subtract these two to get the amount in between or the difference. And you're always gonna do big minus small. And you're just gonna click on the big minus the small. Okay. There we go. So that right there will be the probability it's gonna be uh, less than, uh, well, it's technically less than six and then removed the probability it would be also less than five. So that's why we did this subtraction. Uh, I'm gonna do this with greater than instead of less than. So I'm switching my sign here. And of course that means we need the one minus. And you can press F2, lets you edit what's in a cell, or you can double click. But again, you can just press F2, and that lets you get inside the text and edit that. Uh, notice our big minus small change, because when I did the one minus, these two, the small became the big, the big became the small. So I have to change the order here. It's probably easiest to just type. So L11 minus L12, and that should put it in the right order. Okay. I don't know which of these two I did on the answer key, but uh, you can do it either way. So that's how you can do uh, randomly selected item between. You just do both of them and subtract. Okay. So these are all the regular norm dist parts. Now we're going to go for the norm inverse here because we're given not a value, but a percentage. So we're going to use norm inv. All right, how long will 90% of the combs last? Uh, so this, remember half of them last for more than 5.3. So if I ask the question for 50%, it would be exactly 5.3 years because half of them are gonna break right at that midpoint there. Uh, but 90% is much more than 50%, so it's gonna be more than 5.3 years. So let's try this norm.inverse probability. So this is not 90%, but it's the 90% uh, as a decimal, the mean, the standard deviation. And if you're wondering why did, why don't we get the true or the false? Because this is basically already choosing true for you. It's already cumulative. Um, we're always using true up here anyways. So just keep that in mind. We're, I don't think we even on homeworks ever use it as false. Uh, so anyways, we got this norm inverse right here, and this will tell us how long the 90% uh, of these combs are going to last. And this is in years, if you wanted to label it. So 90% of them will last about seven and a half years. Uh, if you look, that's longer than 5.3 years, and depending on how much the standard deviation is, that'll be uh, tell you how much longer. If it was a really small standard deviation, 
that number would be just a little bigger than 5.3. All right, last part. Uh, some of the weaker combs break after a short period. How long before the first 5% of combs break? All right, so this is going to be a number much less than 5.3. So we could uh, copy this. But remember, if we copy and paste it, I want to lock these two in position. And technically, only the row number would change if I moved it. Um, I'll do one with a dollar sign and one without, and you'll see what happens here. All right, so I'm going to copy, paste. It's already broken. What happened? Remember, that dollar sign means it doesn't change uh, the four. So the blue one still appear in row four, but the other one, I8, um, what happens is I pasted it four rows below where it was copied from. So I have to drag it back up there. Again, probably better to just go and put that dollar sign in. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, now what I did not do is change this. Uh, so remember, 5% is 0 0.05 right there. So it's 0 0.05. Enter, so two and a half years, so much smaller than that 5.3. Okay, so that is uh, how to answer this question. Uh, we will, uh, in the, I think the next question in the next chapter, um, you use your standard deviation for not one item, but multiple items. So you're going to divide by the number of items, uh, the square root of n, but we'll see that in the next question. But I just want to Mind you, this is very similar to the question in chapter 7. You just have multiple items in chapter 7.